reminder of how you would do this. You look at a, a circuit like this as a, uh, a series portion and a parallel portion. You can't solve it without first knowing what the total resistance of the parallel portion is. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we've got to take and figure out what this is. And the easiest way that I have found to do this is to just put some imaginary numbers in here. So I'll say, if we had 12 volts here, how many amps would flow through this circuit? Six. Six. If I had 12 volts here, how many amps would flow through this circuit? Six. Also six amps. For a total of? 12 amps. For a total of 12 amps, right? Which means how many ohms is this total? One. I've got 12 volts and 12 amps. It means that this, this portion of the circuit right here is equivalent to one ohm, right? So it's kind of like making the circuit look like this. Draw my battery, my bulb, bulb. This bulb is right here, it's still two ohms, right? All of this got condensed into one bulb that is one ohm. Now we can start answering our questions. What's the total resistance of the circuit? Three ohms. Three ohms, right? Two ohms here, one ohm here. Make sense? If we have three ohms, then how many uh, amps do we have? Four. Four amps? What's the next question? How much current through first bulb? How much current through bulb one? If we have three amps, what do we say? Well, three ohms, sorry, and four amps, how much of that goes through bulb one? All of it. All of it. So what's the answer? How much current through bulb one? Four. Four amps. By the way, these were imaginary numbers, right? So let's get rid of them. We don't want them to distract us. Now, how many amps would go through bulb two? That's the next question. Yeah, we've got to first figure out how many volts we have here, don't we? How much how much voltage was dropped in bulb one? Eight. Yeah, four amps, two ohms. So we lose eight volts. How much voltage do we have left here then? Yep, so we have four volts now at these corners, or at this point, right? So if we have four volts and two ohms, how much current went this way? Two amps, right? <laughs> we have four volts and two ohms, how much current goes this way? Two amps. So we had four amps, that makes sense, right? We had four amps, came here and it split up, and two of the amps went down each leg. Now, what's the next question? So it says, what's the voltage drop across bulb one? We've already answered that. How much voltage was dropped across bulb one? Eight, Eight volts. volts. How much voltage is dropped across this bulb? Four. four. Yeah, all four volts gets dropped here, or two times two, right? How much voltage is dropped across this whole leg? Four, four volts, but how much across each of these? Two. two. Two times one and two times one. So two volts here and two volts here. <coughs> Add up to four. Is that it? Voltage the last question is voltage, voltage at point B, and of course that's here. We've already got that answer. Pretty simple, right? Sure. Sounds simple right now. 